Hey everybody, Dan Schinder here at the NAM show in a whole different part of the show where it's actually quiet here. And I'm here with Mr. Antonini from DPA Microphones. Yes, yes. Yeah, I'm really excited about this because I've I've actually used DPA microphones before here at the NAM show, and now we're gonna see some applications for you drummers. And these are really specific microphones for recording. Yes. You use them live, right? Yes, well, we're probably one of the only microphone companies where you can use the same live mic in the studio. Not a problem because we do three things extremely well. What keeps us up at night is the R&D into these microphones. Trying our best to mimic the way humans hear the world. So, you know, what is on, on axis of the microphone, what is off the axis of the microphone, we, uh, we make sure that it, it remains linear at all frequencies, at all angles. And that sort of is part of the secret sauce that goes into the microphones because when you're looking at drums, the interplay between, let's say, Tom Tom 1 and Tom Tom 2, you know, what is this mic hearing when you're hitting this drum? That's sort of where we need to look when we're trying to document a performance. And documenting a drum set is very complex, but I like to approach it in a simple way. And these mics really give me um, a great solution to do that. And part of it is, uh, for instance, we can start on the toms. Sure. And we can see this is our 4099 model. Um, we make this microphone for most instruments. Two different sensitivities, extreme SPL and loud SPL. This particular mic can handle 152 decibels. Wow, really? Yes, and it's made of an interference tube, and it acoustically modifies the sound, the plane waves coming in from the side in order to create the focus. So when you do hit Tom Tom 2, and this is on Tom Tom 1, what comes into the side of this microphone will sound identical as if it was pointed directly on axis. It'll just be lower. But it'll be accurate. It won't. It will be like a mirror image. It's sort of like a piece of glass. You know, when you look straight on to glass, it all looks pretty good. When you turn it, it distorts. You can picture DPA's off-axis is not distorting, remaining clearer. So the sonic qualities are the same. It's just the volume that changes. Yes. Right? The rainbow stays true. It doesn't. It doesn't distort. And uh, basically, you know, we also make larger capsules. This is the 4011, and these are modular. So we could take these. Right now, we're using them for overheads at the Yamaha main stage and also at the RCF ballroom party. Oh, cool. Um, but this is a first order cardioid. We could swap this with a 4015 for a wide cardioid. We could swap it with an Omni like a 4006 for a beautiful room mic or beautiful piano mic. So they're multi-purpose. The thing with DPA is, yes, I can mic the drums, but I can also get those microphones in different sensitivities and use them on other instruments because we're capturing sound. They're all condensers. They all require phantom power and they are all can handle high SPL. Our vocal mic can handle 160. Wow. So it's a myth out there that condenser mics cannot handle high SPL. And the third thing would be a high transient quality. So the microphone is moving at lightning speed on the back plate to capture cymbals and to capture the intricacies of a six string guitar. So all that baked in, I sort of called the, you know, the Holy Father, Son and the Holy Ghost of, of, of the three attributes you know, the high SPL, the linearity, and the transient quality. And I've done many different ways, and I can create many different ways to do drums. I, I'm fortunate to work with a lot of guys like Steve Smith and Dennis Chambers, uh, you know, Metallica. We work with all the big guys as well as the small guys. And what they get from us is less mic stands, accurate sound, really, really inobtrusive for the crew to, to wire the set. And I could do it a million ways. Like, for instance, when I work with Dennis Chambers, he is very fast and he covers the set very quickly yeah. so i really don't want to do stereo miking with him a lot of times i'll do one wide cardioid over the set a 4015 on an a preamp and then i'll mic the toms separately with the 4099s do the panning with the toms to create the stereo image but keep that glue on top yeah. so that we're, we're, we're getting everywhere dennis goes in one microphone and then put accent, a couple accent microphones in here or there and you have a very documentative high energy, high powerful, super rich and intimate sound. What I love about what you with said no about EQ. with no EQ, <laughs> but and the other great quality about what you pointed out about the 4099 is that if it's a much bigger kit, like Dennis plays and yeah. Steve, depending on what he's doing, and a lot of us other drummers with big kits, you can have nine toms, and if something is picking something up from the side, yeah. 
or from three toms away, it won't be, like you say, it won't be distorted. It, Sonically, it's the same, just lower in volume. It's ine inevitable that we're going to get unwanted sound. A singer's going to go over and interplay with the drummer. He's going to smash the cymbal. It's going to go into the vocal mic. Um, you know, it's inevitable that your cowbell is going to leak into your other mics. But really, I've done hi-hat tests, which to me are sort of like pinging a room where I can put a microphone in a studio 180 degrees opposite of where the hi-hat is and mic the hi-hat, play them together, and actually ma they're matched perfectly. Wow, that's amazing. There's no sort of shift in frequency. There's no comb filtering. And that's the stuff that really is important when you're doing drums or any instrument. But drums are like the voice to me. The in they're very high in intelligibility. And when you get a great player, they make the drums talk. So we don't want to get in the way of that. We sort of want to invisibly, transparently capture that. And of course, if you want to take it somewhere else and beef up the low end or, or r put more high end or this or that, you could do that. But this microphone, it's very, it's very interesting because I call it like having two mics in one because of that linearity we talked about. I can move this microphone. Imagine if this was a guitar, which we have a guitar here. Um, Want me to grab it? And yeah, I go ahead. Do you want me to hold those? I know this is drums, but... Yeah, that's... It's, it's oh, we have a lot of musicians watching. Yeah. See the size of those? So here, here we have the same microphone, but a different model. It's on the... It's a, the G model for a guitar. I like how that's attached. Sorry. Yeah. No, it's okay. This is a G model for the guitar. And uh, do you remember my name? Yeah, Gabriel Antonini. Oh, my God. It's amazing. Dan, <laughs> that was a test. We were playing around earlier. Your favorite color is turquoise. That's right, turquoise. See? Yeah. There it is. <laughs> and by the way, we're at www.dpamicrophones.com. And if you want some drum guidance, I'm always uh, available for that. VGA at DPA Microphones. That's awesome. Yeah, so if you ever want to uh, just chat. Um, and we also, you know, are very generous at, at, at sometimes loaning stuff so guys can really hear it because it's, 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 uh, it's a lifetime. Invest. It is. It's a lifetime journey as well, learning this stuff, the science of it. But back to the EQ, the previous point I was making is that, you know, this microphone, typically if I put this microphone here, I'm going to get a nice balanced sound between low end and sort of the, the 12th fret sound. Yeah. But let's say I'm solo and I want more low end. Typically, uh, uh, an engineer would reach for the low end and turn it up. And I consider EQ like bath water. You know, if you want a hotter bath, turn down the cold. Be deductive when you approach EQ, especially with drums. That's a low frequency. The kick drum is a low frequency instrument. Your capsule should not have a low frequency boost. It should be accurately capturing that. It's addition by subtraction rather than just adding more. That's a nice way to put it, Dan. So if I want more low end, I simply get this mic and do that. So now my on axis is going towards the sound hole. My off axis is going towards the brighter portion of the guitar. And I'm actually using it as two mics. That's brilliant. I love that. Band and I, and I and I want low end because there's a bass player. I'll go there, you know. And that this is great for all stringed instruments, acoustic yeah. like violin, viola, cello, upright bass, saxophone, clarinet. We make make a massive amount of clips that really take the structural noise out of it as well. So these uh, these clips are all made with a really special rubber that takes in mind like for the drum clips. As you can see over there, you take a shot of this drum clip. Right there. So basically, that is, uh, you know, not bringing any, transmitting any sound from the environment. That's great. Which keeps all the slop out of the mix, yeah, you know. Awesome. So we think we think about the sound that you don't hear as well as, you know, all that. And also with this microphone, I will mention that it's IP58 rated. So it's extremely resistant to water and dust. Yeah, and it's got core technology, which pushes the harmonic distortion point up to 14 dB higher, which means that where the microphone typically, all microphones will distort at a certain level at a 1%. This is pushed further so that it will withstand more high pressure and, and pass on a more pure open sound to the next stage, which could be a console, you know, which could be a recording facility. Right. So more and more clear, more accurate, even than before. That's yeah. cool. Come around this side, Steve. I want to ask Gabriel another question. Tell everybody, A, how they can find a dealer and give us an idea what these retail for. Okay, so I'm going to hold off on the retail thing because okay. I'm going to be guessing, but I'll get help on that. Okay. Uh, we'll make it fun. The first question was, where can they get? Where can dealers? they find a de yeah. dealer? Okay, so on our website, there, there, is, there is a link to all rental houses for rental. And for a dealer list, keep that camera rolling. 
Hey, Mr. Chris, come here. This is Christopher Spar, our VP. Put the Hello. mic up to Chris. Hey, Chris. Hello. Okay. Yeah. Good, how um, are you? The, the next question was, where can they find a place where all our dealers are listed? On the website, on the dpamicrophones.com website. It. Yep. Great. It's like a dealer locator there. The locator there by state. Oh, oh look at that. I don't know which one to talk into. Uh, that one's so cute. Um, but yeah, it's all. It, there's a dealer locator there. <laughs> exactly. It's a little boom mic. Yeah. It's a boom mic. Yeah, easy, easy to find the dealers. Yep. Great. And can you give us an idea of the retail? Oh, this. Uh, yeah. as, as far as the price? Yeah. Oh, yeah, 619 Okay, cool. Wow. Six six nineteen ninety five. I was going so. to say six twenty, so I'm glad I yeah, got it over. Yeah. yeah. Are they sold in <laughs> sets as well? Um, most of them individually. The piano one comes in in a, in a you know a pair, a stereo pair. Uh, we do have four pack kits and ten pack kits though, depending on if you need if you're a production Classical. company. Yeah. 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 If you're a production company and you need more than just a few, if you get four of them, it's with a, a lot of different clips that come with it. So right. yeah. And I always tell folks that a really good cost effective way to get into the product is to buy the piano kit. Because it comes with two matched mics within a half a dB, oh, wow. two magnetic pianos, and then you can go out and buy a couple clips yeah. for a guitar or for a violin and repurpose the mics, and then you'll probably end up buying 10 more. But that's a nice yeah. way to get introduced that's cool. into, into the product. Yeah. yeah. Chris, thanks for jumping in. Yeah. Yeah. Get out of my limelight. Right. Yeah. <laughs> it's your show now, Gabriel. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, where do we want to go well, next? Uh, how would you summarize um, why people should consider DPA over other things they might be looking at if they're shopping and they're kind of just they're stuck on making a decision because there's so many things out there. Uh, it's a great question and and you know it's all subjective. You know we all hear different things. I like and some I, of us don't hear enough. Yeah, exactly. Right. I like the challenge. It's something I come up with. I I call Mike Muscle Memory, and it's basically something that we're all brought up learning how to do something. We're taught our craft. Uh, if you were a carpenter, you'd have been taught by how you know how to put a wall together. You come up as, a, as, as an engineer, you're taught by someone to show you where to put a microphone, how to get a good drum sound, what to cut on the EQ, what to boost. We sort of break that mold at DPA. We're very much um, a solution for the artist. So if you're looking for something that can bring you back to the art of balancing a mix and actually enjoying your work, DPA is a great place to start. We have a a, 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 an incredible warranty on our product. It, it, it does cost a little bit more, uh, but we have a great warranty, five years, I think, on the big capsules and two on the miniatures. Wow, so we also have sort of a try and buy for certain products, which you can call your salesman, because yeah. we know that it's a family. And once you get into the family, you get the support. But what we really bring to your table is, 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 is a way to sort of tame the invisible. You know, sound is invisible. And if you put a mic where it sounds pleasing to your ear and it sounds like that, from the control room to the studio, that's what we bring. Oh, so awesome. you can trust your instincts. You can be creative with your feet on the ground and your head in the clouds. That's great. Gabriel Antonini of DPA Microphones, thank you for taking time to join us and run us through these great products. Can I get this in a bag? No, yeah, I'm should. kidding. <laughs> also, one more mic we should mention is the 2011, which is actually right here. Oh, on the floor tom. Yeah, it's, it, it's on the floor tom, but I just wanted to quickly mention it. We typically use this on snare drum and kick. We interchange We interchange our, our for instance, uh, hey, Tom, can you grab this, buddy? So, for instance, the modularity of all this stuff that I was telling you, we can unscrew this, and we could take, this is on our GSM 4000 active cable. So let's just say I want, like last night on the main ballroom party, we had this on the kick. This is a fantastic kick drum, Mike. 2011a this is capable of 159 decibels and it is a it's a monster we also could take it off and make it smaller by putting it on the c preamp which is about that big using it on snare drums hi-hats marimbas last night all of the uh, heavy metal guitars amplifiers were on this so really great workhorse it's a 2011 as opposed to the 4011 both great on drums and overheads this is a little bit more budget conscious, the 2000 series and the 4000 series being the next level up, but all sounding tremendous. And one last thing on the 4099 that I love when we're talking about, you know, the cross pollination and the integrity of the sonic qualities and not just getting all distorted. It must be great for percussion rigs when a player is surrounded by many different instruments that they're crossing over and playing at the same time. 
with a close proximity where you would normally get all that distorted bleed. It sounds perfect for Most that. Definitely. And, and what happens is the, dy the dynamics transfer over because if the drummer or the percussionist doesn't want to all be heard at the same level because he's getting over mic'd and, and, and over processed just because we need to get him in front of a whole band. Now we can have that subtlety and that what does come in leak into the other mic just sounds beautiful and adds to the resonance of the instrument, right? Because we hear the instrument this far away. Nobody really listens to a snare drum like this. Uh, hopefully not. If we, we do, it'll be one time. And, and we have to close mic for heavy metal, and I get that because we need to get above. But if we, uh, the off axis brings in a lot of the beauty of the instrument you're playing. It's sort of like, um, like the way makeup is applied to, to a beautiful woman. I like that. You don't notice it when it's done right. You know, and it's sort of, uh, it's sort of, it sounds accurate, it sounds natural, and it sounds great. Let me go add a bunch of stuff. No, no, no. Let it sound great. Let it sound documentative, and uh, that's what we bring to it. And the thing, another thing I could leave with is that, you know, you can always go for the artistic vision and change and EQ and process, but you can, with a DPA, you can always get back to that zero point. This is what it sounds like. I can leave it here. I can make it darker, I can make it brighter, or I can leave it. Uh, one, one quick story is Brit Floyd is a, is a nice cover band that actually is all DPA. And, oh, cool. And we actually won out, and this is a cover band traveling with a couple tractor trailers. Very popular band. Yeah. And they have to model their show off of early Pink Floyd to late Pink Floyd. So, obviously, the sound. So, DPA is what brought it home for them because they were able to subtly change but always get back to absolutely flat accurate that's great yeah so. great example yeah well, thanks dan thanks for thank you gabriel guys. appreciate it yeah. very much yeah thank you everybody for watching hope you had a great audio and miking education and there's your exposure to some great products for not only miking drums but other stringed instruments acoustic instruments and percussion we'll see you soon with more on drum talk tv from the nam show 2020